Hello guys and welcome back to another video with my 2018 Honda Accord. In today's video, I'm going to give you a 20,000 mile uh, update on my uh, 2018 Honda Accord. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to talk about is the transmission and the engine in this car. So my, uh, my, my Accord is the 2.0 and it has the 10-speed uh, and to be honest with you guys, the uh, combination of the um, transmit of this transmission and this engine is just great um, power is always there um, car is really quick brakes are amazing uh, I honestly haven't had any issues with it I owned the car for a year and five months now and honestly guys I haven't had any major issues I did bring it to the dealership uh, uh, one time uh, for them to um, look at a couple stuff but other than that honestly I haven't had any major issues uh, and uh, I'm talking about like no engine issues, no transmission issues. That's what I mean by major issues. Um, I had a couple stuff. Um, uh, I actually uploaded the video if you guys want to check it out uh, about the um, the small issues that I had uh, with this uh, with this Accord. All right, guys. So the second thing I want to talk about is the tires on the Sport trim and the Touring. The, uh, sport trim and the Touring trim have a have 19 inches, and uh, the sidewall is really thin. So. Uh, they're really easy to curb if you guys drive a lot of downtown and uh, if you guys uh, drive a lot in the city so I would suggest honestly staying away from the sport or the, the, the touring but if you guys are really good and you guys know what you're doing then I would honestly go for it but if, uh, if you do a lot of parking uh, especially like in downtown um, yeah, they're really easy to curb uh, so I just want to let you know guys uh, before you uh, guys uh, think about getting a sport or a, tour a touring trip and another thing that you guys have to be aware of is the um, tread on the Sport and the Touring trim. The tread is really, really thin due to the 19 inches. So you guys have to put that in mind uh, when you buy the uh, Sport or the Touring, the touring trim. So third thing is the headlights on the Accord. Um, those headlights are really good. I talked about this on my uh, in an old video that I did. Uh, those lights are really good. Uh, they're really nice and bright. Um, high be low beams are the uh, LEDs. They're white, and the uh, high beams are halogen. They're uh, they're yellow, and the fog lights. They're LEDs. I believe there are six of them. And uh, for the LEDs, there's a really nice uh, trick that I seen on YouTube. Uh, someone actually um, posted a video about this. Um, he said that you guys actually could adjust the height of the uh, fog lights. You could actually like move them down and move them up. You could adjust the fog lights so it's really nice and cool i honestly didn't know about it but yeah just want to let you guys know so other than that honestly the car been treating me really good that's the honda sensing in the bottom right here i added this black rail i added the red honda emblem but yeah everything it's been good i haven't really spent money on it uh, I had it for a year and five months, as I said, and uh, to be honest with you guys, I only spent what, 100, maybe 120 to 140 on oil changes. Uh, I did, I think, uh, four oil changes. Uh, the fifth one is coming soon. I have 15% left. One thing that uh, a lot of people don't know about is that there is a vent right here, and this vent is actually functional. Air goes through it, and it cools off the brakes. Let me go ahead and show you. As you guys could see right here that it's it's an actual vent it's functional and uh, the type R has it and honestly for an Accord to have something like that it's really uh, it's really cool so uh, I just want to share this with you guys so I added uh, the Accord logo on the door handles I personally like it a lot of people didn't like it but I like the way how it looks like and it, honestly guys it looks really good in person so uh, I really like it So I added this sticker on the uh, door. Gives the car a really nice look. And I added those uh, two uh, sticker uh, stickers, um, carbon fiber. So they're really easy to clean. Uh, I added the Honda emblem. And uh, for the wrap in the middle, a lot of people didn't like it, but I'm actually going to be uh, taking it off and I'm going to get a um, carbon fiber cover so uh, stay tuned for that video guys all right guys so as you guys could see right here I have 20,000 miles on my Accord and uh, it's been treating me really good I haven't had any major issues as I said 
Um, fuel economy been okay. Uh, this is the 2.0, so basically it's uh, the uh, faster Accord uh, that you could buy, or the fastest Accord that you could buy. Uh, the fuel economy is anywhere between, for me at least, since I do a lot of city driving, it's anywhere between 17 to 19 uh, MPGs. Uh, for the people who have the 1.5, they're getting anywhere between 23 to 25, 26. That's if they're doing like a lot of city driving. But uh, if you guys do a lot of highway driving, it goes up to 40 miles per gallon on the 1.5. On the 2.0, it goes up to 35, 36, which is not bad for a uh, 2.5. Second thing I want to talk about is the sound system in the Accord and to be honest with you guys it's one of the worst uh, sound systems that I ever heard in my whole entire life. Uh, my 2009 Accord had a better sound system than this one and uh, the bass on the 2009 was much better, much stronger and actually uh, my brother have a 2009 Accord and my dad has a 2009 Accord, uh, it's a company car and the sound system on them is just great. I honestly I just can't believe that Honda actually downgraded the base on the 2018 and I had a 2000, uh, 2001 Nissan Maxima. The sound system was amazing on that one. It's way and much better than the uh, 2000, than my 2018 Honda Accord and my Nissan Maxima had uh, just the uh, stock uh, uh, speakers and stock uh, system and I uh, didn't have the upgraded uh, Bose uh, sound system. So. My Nissan Maxima was much better than my 2018. My 2009 Honda Accord had a better base uh, than my 2018. And uh, honestly guys, Honda needs to do something with the sound system. It, it's, it's garbage. Basically they use the worst, uh, <laughs> they use the worst sound system. Um, and I think uh, that's how Honda is saving a lot of money just uh, by the um, uh, speakers and the sound system that they're using. But honestly guys, uh, the car been really great. Uh, haven't had any major issues uh, one thing that uh, Honda needs to fix is the backup camera recall I still ha I'm still having issues with it um, this morning when I turned on my car it uh, took 15 seconds uh, for the uh, backup lines to show uh, in the backup camera so um, uh, hopefully Honda fixes that soon uh, they're actually going to uh, push uh, an update uh, soon so I'm still waiting for this overall uh, the design of the car the way how everything is uh, just looks perfect everything is nice and clean and uh, very nice and simple so your mode front rear AC everything's laid out really nice and uh, uh, big uh, the only thing I hate about the uh, the 2018 Accord or maybe the 2019 for some people that this uh, piece right here so um, you can't really it's it's it gets in, in the way of your knee so it's uh, it's it's not a big deal for me now I got used to it but coming from a 2013 to a 2018 Accord this was a uh, it was really annoying at first but I got used to it so I usually have my knee down well it, most of the time I used to have it up like that uh, when I first got the car uh, but now uh, that doesn't really bother me that much but if you guys come from a bigger car or a maybe a 2013 2017 16 Accord uh, you guys will hate this uh, at first, but then you'll get used to it. Uh, other than that, everything is nice. I really like the way how the how the cords look like. Look like really nice. Love the seats. It's very nice and soft. And that's the back. The back is really spacious. Let me go ahead and show you. So, guys, that's the back seat. I'm 5'7", so that's my uh, seat position, and there's so much uh, uh, space, uh, space back there. And uh, the seat, this seat, I believe it's all the way back. Yeah, I think it's all the way back. I'll go ahead and double check. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's really spacious back here, and uh, everything is perfect. Even like the back doors, really nice soft material right here, and right here. That's um, it looks like synthetic uh, plastic or. I don't know just like kind of like soft this top part is hard but um, everything is nice and just the uh, design of the seats and the design of the car uh, is really good so I just uh, checked and actually the seat is all the way back there's so much room in the front and uh, let me go ahead and show you the back 
So with the seat being all the way back, there is a really good space uh, back here to sit. Uh, the new Accords are really spacious. Even the old Accords, they used to be spacious too, but this car is just amazing. And uh, I love the uh, fact that it has a lot of uh, space in it, really nice and wide, and uh, the, it's really easy to drive. All right, guys, so for the engine, um, as I said, and probably that's the third time I'm saying it, I haven't had any issues with the transmission, with the engine. It shifts, uh, uh, downshifts and shifts up uh, really fast, uh, no issues very strong engine and I really like it so I do still have the um, uh, cheap setup that I installed uh, about seven eight months ago and to be honest with you guys I haven't had any issues with it um, I had it for 8,000 miles now and no issues nothing no lights uh, on the dash um, a car sounds amazing and uh, I really like it uh, probably I'm gonna be changing the uh, filter soon I had it for 8,000 miles. I honestly don't know how long these uh, filters last, but it does look clean. It's really not, it's really clean. So um, I don't know how it looks like from the inside. Probably the inside looks doesn't look clean, but uh, probably I'm gonna be changing it soon. And uh, yeah, I just want to let you know, guys. Um, let me go ahead and put my uh, tripod and uh, let you hear the um, sound of that um, air intake. <laughs> So that was the sound of the air intake. Uh, I got it from eBay. Uh, I have a uh, an old video that I installed about six, seven, eight months ago, and uh, uh, it basically has all the links and it has everything you guys need. Uh, make sure you check out that video. Um, one last thing, and that's gonna actually be the last thing that I want to talk about uh, in this video or update: um, the paint chips on uh, the car. So after twenty thousand mile. Um, how is the paint to be honest with you guys? I do have a lot of scratches and I do have a lot of uh, paint chips the scratches uh, could be from a lot of things um, It could be from me. It could be from other people walking by my car and it could be from other stuff. So uh, The paint overall is really weak and it seems like Honda is using a really thin layer of paint. This is um, a Paint chip right here. I have a couple um, Down here. It's really hard to see though um, There is one right here that's a big one right here and uh, I had this scratch for a while it's really hard to see it uh, but yeah overall Honda is using a really cheap it seems like they're using a really cheap uh, uh, paint or they're not putting enough paint on the uh, new uh, Hondas so I wish Honda does something about that and I wish they fix it so I just want to mention that to you guys and uh, yeah so I hope uh, Honda uh, fixes it or uh, does something about it. This is a 20,000 mile uh, review or update um, I honestly don't have any issues with it um, The car been treating me really good and I only done um, four um, uh, full four oil changes and um, Other than that, I honestly haven't spent uh, a dime on on the car so I really like it and if you guys are interested in buying one to be honest with you guys, I would suggest uh, going for it. And trust me, you're not gonna spend a lot of money uh, owning um, Hondas or Toyotas. Uh, those cars are really strong and uh, they're really um, uh, good. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you guys did, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.